if you want to have a league that makes money and pays you millions of dollars, come over here to the XX League. Why will they listen? I've already told you. They need leverage in their collective bargaining agreement negotiations. The basketball world is buzzing with shocking news that could change the game. The EuroLeague is ready to make a huge offer to Caitlin Clark, tempting her to leave the WNBA. This move could leave the WNBA without its biggest star. This is all orchestrated, what they're doing. None of this is on accident. It is absolutely every bit of it is orchestrated. And it goes beyond trying to destroy Caitlin Clark. The real agenda is to destroy free speech. The WNBA is a political organization. Clark's time in the WNBA hasn't been easy. She's faced a toxic environment and unfair treatment. Some think this is the perfect chance for her to escape and show her true value. The EuroLeague offer could pay her 10 times what she makes in the WNBA. Plus, they might treat her better. Yeah, it's, it's definitely upsetting. I don't think there's nobody in our league should be facing any sort of racism, hurtful, disrespectful, hateful comments and threats. Um, you know, those aren't fans, those are trolls, and it's a real disservice to the people in our league, the organization, um, the WNBA. Clark has been a game changer for the WNBA. She's brought in record crowds and viewers, but some players and commentators have tried to bring her down. Now, with this offer, those critics might regret their actions. Some of us felt like maybe she hadn't proved it in the WNBA, but at this point, she certainly has. So she proved yep. everybody wrong. What about the guards? Let's talk about the guards that didn't make it. Talk about the guards that didn't make it. How they play, Andrea? Because you were one of the ones that say she didn't earn it. How did the guards play that was in the Olympics? How did they play? For sure. But we can't take how Caitlin finished the W season and, and pivot that to how she would have done in the Olympics. That's a completely different All argument. The Euro League's interest in Clark shows how valuable she is. They're willing to pay top dollar for her talent. This deal could make her one of the highest paid players in women's basketball, both in the U.S. and abroad. For Clark, this move could be a defining moment. It's a chance to join a league that truly values her skills. Despite carrying the WNBA on her back and breaking records, Clark hasn't always gotten the respect she deserves. The news has caused tension in the WNBA. Many players are jealous that Clark, still early in her career, could earn so much more than them. In a league where players fight hard for decent pay, the idea of Clark earning 10 times more overseas has created unease. Some see Clark as abandoning the WNBA, leaving her fellow players to keep fighting for better pay. This has led to conflicts within the league. Some players are upset that Clark's departure could weaken the WNBA, while others respect her choice to seek better opportunities. Ooh. That's tough because you got to win one. I feel like that college is one of those spaces where you got to win one to, for them to even have your name in the conversation. Uh, I, and it took me three years to win mine, so it was it's it's hard. But congratulations to her. I know my teammate KP was just like, yeah, that's huge. That's a lot of points. And that uh, don't take that for granted. They were getting them up 100%. So congratulations to her. But I think she got a winner one to really kind of have her name in that. But I mean, she initially Clark had said she wanted to take a break after her rookie WNBA season. She talked about needing rest and recovery, but now it seems she's changed her mind. The poor treatment she's received in the WNBA might have influenced this decision. Clark's impact on the WNBA has been massive. She's been the league's biggest draw, bringing in record viewership and filling arenas. The Indiana Fever, Clark's team, even broke attendance records. Her jersey sales have soared, making her one of the most recognizable faces in women's sports. Despite all she's done for the league, the WNBA hasn't always treated Clark well. Instead of supporting her, they've allowed negativity and jealousy to overshadow her contributions. This lack of support has fueled rumors about her potential move to Europe. And one. She is incredibly well controlled off of the bounce, absorbing the contact, getting it to go high off the glass. Six rebounds, five assists. She leads in points, rebounds, and assists. Clark from the logo and knocks it down. The game plan is to force her to put the ball on the floor. When well, you got to be up in her space to do that. Clark's rookie year in the WNBA was full of challenges. She faced opposition at every turn. Even her remarkable performances were unfairly criticized. The hostility Clark faces seems to come from jealousy over her success. Some players feel threatened by all the attention she gets, but Clark has earned that attention. She's changed the league with her incredible skills 
and her ability to bring in big crowds. The WNBA's failure to protect and support Clark has not only hurt her, but also damaged the league's reputation. Fans are starting to question why the WNBA doesn't show more appreciation for its most valuable player. They need leverage in their collective bargaining agreement negotiations. These women already, half the WNBA right now is overseas playing in some foreign league right now because they're, they don't make enough money during the WNBA season to take care of themselves at the level they want to for all year. If Clark moves to the EuroLeague, it could be for a salary up to 10 times what WNBA players make. For many WNBA players stuck with smaller contracts and less recognition, this potential deal adds to their frustration with Clark. But the reality is that Clark deserves this opportunity. She's worked hard to elevate women's basketball. If the WNBA won't give her the respect and financial reward she's earned, it makes sense for her to look elsewhere. The EuroLeague seems to offer Clark not just financial security, but also a chance to grow as a player without the toxic atmosphere she's experienced in the WNBA. By allowing this deal to be possible, the WNBA is essentially admitting they haven't treated Clark well enough to keep her. If the WNBA had built a better relationship with Clark, based on mutual respect and recognition of her talents, she might not be considering a move to Europe. But because they've allowed jealousy and rivalry to interfere, Clark is now on the verge of leaving the league entirely. The EuroLeague, on the other hand, recognizes Clark's value. They're ready to offer her a deal that reflects her true worth. This is a win for Clark, but a significant loss for the WNBA, which may soon find itself without its biggest star. That should be celebrated, and it's because of Caitlin Clark. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it fucked up. Caitlin Clark is the reason why a lot of great things is going to happen for the WNBA. Um, but for her individually... I don't think she should get involved on nothing that's being said. Just go have fun, enjoy. Clark's fan base isn't just large. It's incredibly dedicated. People don't just watch her play. They're emotionally invested in her success. This loyalty has grown because of the resilience Clark has shown throughout her career, especially during her challenging rookie season in the WNBA. What are you most excited to see? Uh, her playing. She's a good three-point shooter. I love watching her score and just everything about her. I got an Iowa t-shirt for Caitlin Clark. We couldn't find a Caitlin Clark one, so an Iowa one will do. The if Clark decides to leave the WNBA for Europe, her fans will likely follow. They're loyal to her as an individual and believe she deserves the best treatment possible, regardless of where she plays. If supporting her means following her career across the world, they'll do it without hesitation. Clark's potential move to the EuroLeague could be a groundbreaking moment in women's basketball. It could mark a shift in power dynamics between international leagues and the WNBA. As the EuroLeague prepares to offer her a record-breaking contract, it highlights how much Clark's value has grown on the global stage. By offering such a big contract, the EuroLeague is showing they know how valuable Clark is. This will likely make her fans happy, as they've always seen her as a basketball superstar and a once-in-a-generation talent. This situation raises important questions about the future of women's basketball. Will the WNBA learn from this and start treating its stars better? Will more players follow Clark's lead and look for opportunities overseas? Only time will tell. But one thing is clear. Caitlin Clark's decision could change the landscape of women's basketball for years to come. Caitlin has a great head on her shoulder. She seems like it. I, I, I don't even, I don't think I've ever met her. Um, I don't think I've met her before, but it seems like everything um, is going to be great for her because she's a great talent. She seems like a great gal, and uh, I hope she turns that franchise around to where... The NBA legend LeBron James has stepped into the ongoing drama between Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark, delivering a scathing critique of Reese's behavior. This intervention by one of basketball's greatest players has sent shockwaves through both the NBA and WNBA communities. I saw for the first time that they had, they had a chartered plane for the first time in their league history. You know, they flew private. That should be celebrated in its own right. For anyone that's, you know, in sports that's flown commercial or flown, you know, charter, that should be celebrated. And it's because of Caitlin Clark. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it fucked up. But LeBron didn't stop. 
He asked more about how Reese acts toward Clark. He said Clark, even though people often say bad things about her, always respects her opponents. But Reese makes every moment into a big fight. Acting like basketball is more like WWE wrestling than a real sport. Let me say this to Angel Reese. Will you stop? Could you stop, please? James didn't stay quiet. He pointed out how Reese seemed too focused on Clark. He asked why Reese was more interested in pulling Clark down instead of getting better at her own game. The basketball star told Reese to stop the silly stuff and suggested she should try beating Clark by playing better, not by always saying mean things. Millions upon millions of people who knew and remember when you were waving your hand in Caitlin Clark's face when you were beating her for the national championship. Everybody remember then. This isn't Reese's first brush with controversy, especially when it comes to her interactions with Clark. The infamous you can't see me moment during the national championship game stands out. And Angel Reese knows a ring is coming. While trash talk is part of basketball culture, LeBron argued that Reese crossed a line, turning what should have been playful rivalry into something tasteless and unnecessary. Let's see what Clark said. Honestly, I have no idea. I was just trying to get to the handshake line and shake hands and, you know, be grateful that my team was in that position. Um, you know, that's all you can do is, you know, hold your head high, be proud of what you did and, you know, all the credit in the world to LSU. You know, they were tremendous. They, they deserve it. Um, they had a tremendous season. The difference between how Clark acts and how Reese behaves is very clear. LeBron talked about this, showing how Reese's actions are making things worse. He said Reese's behavior isn't just unprofessional. It's starting to make her in the WNBA look bad. LeBron didn't let the head slam incident slide either. He brought it up as a prime example of Reese's questionable behavior, framing it as proof that she's more interested in getting under Clark's skin than actually playing basketball. For LeBron, this kind of dirty play is completely unacceptable. Is Angel Reese facing too much backlash this morning? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I love Caitlin Clark. She's yeah. been a guest on this show. I think she's spectacular. I'm the one that's been calling her the Steph Curry of women's basketball, and she has done nothing to, to, to push that back. I mean, this, this young lady is spectacular. She's been great for women's basketball overall, not just college basketball, but women's basketball. I think she has the potential, when all is said and done, to be arguably the greatest ever because when you have that kind of range and that kind of handle and you can pull up from the parking lot like Steph Curry for crying out loud, I think that's something that you can transition to the next level and it's going to be spectacular to see and I can't wait to see it. But here's the reality of the situation. She instigated this kind of stuff. Let's call it what it is. She was waving. She was doing the Cena. How about what she did to Raven Johnson? She didn't just go into the lane and not guard her against South Carolina. The NBA star explained it clearly when he said trash talk is normal in the game, but what Reese is doing is too much. It's just silly. He talked about the difference between trash talking, where you prove yourself by playing well, and what Reese is doing, which he thinks is just nonsense. You just wanted an attention. You just wanted attention. You were being an attention whore. And so because your basketball couldn't do it, you went to other things. It's like a kid that can't get attention from its parents. They start acting out. They'll do anything to, I'll start skipping school. I'll start smoking marijuana. I'll start talking back to my teacher. LeBron didn't stop at criticizing Reese's behavior. He went for the jugular, suggesting that without Clark, Reese would just be another player. This uncomfortable truth highlights that much of Reese's fame stems from her rivalry with Clark rather than her own skills or achievements. I, I think Angel Reese is jealous of Caitlin Clark. 